The pandemic and everything that's going on in our world now either leaves you to be in misery or in pain and agony, or you can move forward, be positive, press on and do something about it, you know, within the bounds, right? And I think technology has enabled us to be more efficient and to get more done in a positive way. And it's all about our mindset and our lens as to how we move forward. In this video, we'll talk about the way the world of work is changing and how technology is really empowering us and enabling us to do more and really to be more efficient. I'm Steven Taylor. This is Weekly ST. For the last 10 years, I've been building a couple million dollar cybersecurity IT support company here in Chicagoland, and I'm fascinated with living a wholly successful life. Please like, share, and subscribe for more every single week. It's something that we've noticed for a long time, right? Technology changes so fast and what has been exciting about it is moving away from the classic, you know, desktop and monitor into really mobile friendly devices, light devices, and it's going to continue and, and get even better when we move to, you know, the smartphone essentially becoming our workstation and our workspace, right? Whether it's casted to, you know, monitors, keyboard, mouse, or or corded, whatever, um, you know, the the size and the accessibility and the speed, right, especially with, um, you know, 5G and things like that, it really enables us to work from anywhere in the world. And I think the world of work is changing, especially during uh, COVID, you know, we've seen that, you know, a vast majority of people can work from home and still accomplish the work uh, that needs to be done in our economy and in our society. And it's kind of an exciting thing. It's a scary and a daunting thing. I have always been open-minded to, you know, Susie's got to stay home with the kids, you got a sick kid, but we still maybe want to get some work done. It's good for both her and the business, right? Get the kids settled in, but then I'm going to jump back on and go to work. And certainly there's always something in life that will come up for any one of our team members. And I think this new world of work is an exciting place to be so long as we can learn to adapt. You know, we are still in, in IT, we're still a service-based business, right? We have to be available and open truthfully 24-7, 365, but at a minimum, right, Monday through Friday, eight by five. And so you have to have, you know, team members available to answer the phones and things like that. But if the technology enables them to work from home or really work from anywhere, why can't we keep them on and available, you know, during certain times, but then also be willing to, hey, I've got a doctor's appointment, I need to go and get this done. And so this, this blending really of, in my opinion, work life balance becomes, you know, okay, nine o'clock, I've got a doctor's appointment, but by 11am, I'm signed in, I'm working, I'm doing the task at hand, you know, at 2pm, I need to go and grab the kids, whatever it might be. And then back, you know, I'm working from three to six, and you can still get in the eight hour day, the 40 hour work week, it's just not necessarily going to look like that classic Monday through Friday, eight by five. And, and I'm excited about this, right? I think it brings some challenges and there's some other dynamics there, but you know, real estate is expensive, you know, uh, ensuring that people work Monday through Friday, eight by five is, you know, it's challenging, right? What if we just measured people by the productivity and getting things done and, and handling the tasks at hand, but yet they still have the autonomy to live their life and do the things that they need to wherever they're at in the world, right? Because again, the technology enables and empowers all of us to be anywhere in the world and to still be able to get things done. And I think that's super exciting. It's probably one of the hardest things that, you know, any of us who are wanting to navigate this are going to have to come to realize, right? We are all very accustomed. Monday through Friday, I show up at eight and I leave at five, right? And, and our teams, you know, in, in, in tracking their time and punching in and punching out and all, all of that kind of stuff kind of goes away. And so it's very, you know, daunting. And, you know, we've even had clients, you know, who wonder what their teams are even doing, right? But you've got to, you've got to learn to manage by the numbers, right? Our business has always been managed right by the numbers over my shoulder here. We look at those all day, every day. We report on them weekly and we're always running based on that, right? We can tell if a team member is not putting in their fair share or enough effort because the numbers speak for themselves. I don't have to watch their screens. I don't have to record their keystrokes. I don't have to, you know, get them to punch in, punch out. I look at their numbers, right? If you're closing tickets, if you're putting in time entries, right, in our business, that's how that works. 
uh, then we know that the team is doing well and individually as well as a whole. And so I think from a leadership management perspective, it's, you know, maybe bending that old way of thinking that, you know, a human in the office from eight to five thirty is a hardworking employee. You know, now it really is going to be based on the numbers and we can clearly see who's leading the pack and who's not. Morale has been an interesting thing to uh, adjust to, right? I think when you are all in an office all together, whilst there can be some distractions, right? You have a sense of camaraderie, a sense of teamwork. There's a, a, a commotion, you know, in a good way going on. And in this environment of work from home, you know, we have to really rely on technology and video and, and meetings, if you will, even if it's one to one or the, the all staff meeting, right? To try and bring that back. But I think it's important to have a communication platform, you know, like a, a Slack or a Teams that you can interface with each other, you know, throughout the day. Day, similar to the water cooler conversation. It's not the same and you do have to adjust. I think you have to be more mindful of it and do your best to interface with your team more often, communicate and do your best to replace uh, what we all used to know and love as you know being in the office all together. I love from a, a sales and an account management perspective, I always loathe, right? Our, our business was kind of old school. Our industry really has been old school, right? We would drive out to a prospective uh, customer's office. We would take a tour. We would do a one hour meeting, bop, 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 right? And it was just kind of slow and old school. And that would take hours, right? If you had to, tr you have to commute to a uh, prospective client for an hour, you have an hour, hour and a half meeting and they got to commute back, right? You've wasted three hours. Now, you know, because of COVID, a lot of us have shifted to very quick introductory phone calls. Hey, let's just see if this is even a right fit. So in 15 minutes, they learn a little bit about us. We learn enough about them to see if it's even worth pursuing anymore. And now we can do those sales calls, you know, virtually and digitally, right? We can have that hour uh, sales meeting where we're talking about, you know, their needs as a, as a client and what they're looking for. And then we can talk a little bit about what we do and how we operate. And then, you know, again, we can digitally uh, send them a proposal and have a quick phone call discussion to walk them through it. You know, what used to take three, four, five, six, I mean, some guys it would take, you know, 12 hours to do all this work. Now, uh, for us, you know, we could probably close all of that in two, two and a half hours easy, right? And so we're able to meet with more prospective clients and close more deals because everyone is more open-minded of, you know, a remote sales process or a virtual sales process because of COVID, right? Um, from an account management perspective, right, it looked similar, right? We would drive out to the customer, have the hour, 90-minute meeting, whatever it is. You know, now you can bingo, bango, bongo, have three client meetings in a day real easy uh, and be able to get, you know, the same value and the same points across, um, you know, just through a virtual platform. And listen, I, you know, I do miss, you know, handshakes and hugs and all that stuff. And uh, we will eventually get back to that. But the speed and efficiency in being able to conduct business during this has been super helpful. Uh, and it, it just was about breaking kind of that old mold because we had to, we had no choice. I'm curious to know how the pandemic has, you know, improved or changed your business in a good way, uh, whether it's technology or efficiencies or whatever, let me know.